wavelength is less then frequency is more some terms related to wave motion one vibration wavelength amplitude time period and frequency one vibration means the to and fro motion which constitutes one wave is known as one vibration the length of a wave corresponding to one sound wave is known as its wavelength it is represented by lambda amplitude the maximum distance or displacement in the wave is known as amplitude it is measured in meters the time taken by a wave to complete one vibration is known as its time period it now it is represented by t always and is measured in seconds sec the number of vibrations produced in one wave is known as its frequency the frequency is measured in hertz h a h e r t i am repeating again hertz h e r t z and it is h z audible sound our human ears are hear the sound from 20 hertz to 20000 hertz is the range of frequency for the normal human ear there are two types of sound waves that we can't hear those are known as infrasonic or subsonic and ultrasonic sounds infrasonic or subsonic sounds are the sounds that are below 20 hertz and so we can't hear it ultrasonic sounds waves are the sounds of above 20000 hertz do you know the fact that the animals like dogs bats can hear sounds of more than 20000 hertz that is 50000 hertz there are two characteristics of sound first is the pitch and second one is the loudness loudness depends on the surface area and amplitude loudness is the characteristic of sound which which distinguishes a loud sound from a feeble sound pitch depends on the frequency pitch is the characteristic of sound which distinguishes a shrill sound from a flat or grave sound sounds cannot travel in vacuum that is it can travel in solid liquids or gases it needs a medium to propagate have you all noticed that in the rainy season when we see the flash of light or there is some time after that we can hear the thunder have you ever wondered why this is because sound needs some time to propagate and that is also different in different mediums we will be discussing about it later but first we will be telling the formula of the speed of the sound to find out the speed of the sound the formula will be used that is speed of sound v is equal to t distance by time t meter per second experimentally the speed of sound in air is found to be 330 meter per second Sound can travel the fastest, fastest in solids, while it travels the slowest in the in the gases. So, speed of sound in solids, iron and steel, 5,000 meter per second. In liquids, is 1,500 meter per second in the case of water, and the speed of sound in air, a gas, is 330 meter per second, as I have told before. Now, the speed of sound increases with 0.61 meter. per second for every 1 degree centigrade rise in temperature reflection of sound the returning of the sound at the striking a surface is called as a reflection of sound the reflection of sound needs two conditions to fulfill they they are the incident ray the reflection ray and the normal should all lie in the same plane and the angle of incidence should be equal to the angle of reflection The property of the reflection of sound is used in making megaphone, sound boards, and trumpets. Now you all have noticed that, uh, or may have have a question that is echo a type of reflection? Yes, yes, it is. Now echo is a sound heard after the sound is uh, striking and is returning after that from the wall of a building, hillside, etc. Absorption of sound when sound strikes. or it reaches fluff and light objects like cotton or carpet etc they feel sorry i mean they absorb the sound to good extent that is it 
means the way our good absorber absorbs our sound. A sound proof box is an enclosure in which the sound, I mean the internal sound, is not allowed to go out, whereas the out external sound is not allowed to come inside. Now let's do a sum regarding the speed of the sound. A gun is fired by one boy who is at the distance of one three six zero meter from another boy, and the another boy sees. I mean, sorry, hears the sound of the firing two seconds afterwards. The smoke is seen. So, what is the speed of sound here? So now let's use the formula that is speed of sound v is equal to d by t. The distance is 1360 meter and the time needed is 2 which is 680 meter per second.